SpaceX's Starship IFT-5 launch is imminent. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I don't have any tea today, but hopefully you do. Hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology day. We're gonna be talking about SpaceX, Starship, IFT-5. Flight 5 is right around the corner. And what we're reading is the flight is imminent. There's a lot of things that point to that direction. I wanna to talk to you guys about it today. And what does it mean? So a lot of you guys were asking me how things went with the hurricane. We ended up getting hit with not that much considering. The only thing that we did get hit with that was really violent, the hurricane itself, we probably got maybe 60, 70 mile per hour winds maximum, something like that, gusts. The one thing that we got hit with really badly was all of the tornadoes. There was more tornadoes than ever during any hurricane that I could remember. And I think it was just over 130 in total. People that we know, houses completely devastated. One of my son's teachers, a house completely gone. It literally lifted three cars from the front of the house over the house and landing them in the backyard. That's how powerful these tornadoes were. There was 20 or more deaths locally due to all of these tornadoes that ripped through the area. There was even three people that lost their lives while they were in line at Culver's getting a burger absolutely devastating. That tornado that went through, that ended up killing those three people at Culver's, there is a Publix on the corner, and my son and I were actually going to that Publix when this tornado happened. And we saw the tornado as it went over the highway and into what they call the acreage area back here. So it already ripped through Wellington and was going into the acreage, and that's when it actually killed the three people that were in their cars at the restaurant, at Culver's, the fast food place. So really sad really really sad they were wicked these tornadoes were just really bad so anyways we fared very well we lost a bunch of trees cleaned all that up i was on the roof uh, repairing about 15 tiles i think it was that got ripped off i remember we got hit i think it was my son said it was about 2 a.m with i don't know what something hit the roof and it just sheared off a whole bunch of tiles anyways we ended up fixing that so we're all good thank you for all of the well wishes really do appreciate it matter of fact tonight i'm going to try to go live so if you are around hang out with me tonight as always is jc live we call it free speech friday so definitely join, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. So let's get into this article, then I'll give you my commentary. And as always, down below, I wanna hear from you. So it starts out by saying, SpaceX and various agencies are now preparing for Starship Flight 5, targeting no earlier than October 13th. That's this weekend. This test is crucial for both SpaceX and NASA as NASA aims to meet the Artemis program deadlines. The launch preparations at SpaceX's Starbase in South Texas include removing large equipment no longer needed and readying the Starship's termination system. And we saw that in video. They are getting that termination system ready. They basically, if you don't know what those are, is explosives that they put on the ship so that they can detonate them remotely if the starship did something crazy so it doesn't end up hitting any type of populace so they can blow it up over water if need be that's their flight termination system originally the faa wasn't expected to grant a launch license until late november due to environmental reviews but recent updates suggest that approval could come sooner We've talked about this many times in the past. These people and their environmental stuff, it just hinders everything that goes on with SpaceX. We'll talk about that in just a second. Notices from the U.S. Coast Guard and Texas officials, such as road closures near Star Base, hint at launch activities, signaling that SpaceX is aiming for an October date. The high stakes of Flight 5 revolve around SpaceX's attempt to catch the Starship Super Heavy booster using two massive arms on the launch tower. We always call them the salad tongs or the chopsticks or whatever you want to call them. I think they call them Mechazilla, whatever. 
they basically are going to try to catch the super heavy, just like they do with like a Falcon 9, but instead the Falcon 9 actually lands with feet on the back of a drone ship. This time they're going to try to actually catch this thing in midair, which to me is just unbelievable, but that's what they're working on doing. Very cool stuff. This represents one of the most significant innovations in rocket technology since SpaceX began landing Falcon 9 boosters, like I said, on the back of those drone ships in the middle of the ocean. If successful, it will enable faster and more frequent launches. SpaceX is confident pointing to a precise landing that happened with IFT-4, but a failure could risk damaging the costly launch infrastructure. Yeah. It would be nasty if that thing went off and just blew up the entire pad. They do have another pad coming, but it's not done yet. So let's hope for the best with this. To mitigate risks, SpaceX has introduced a quote, human in the loop process of landing, whereby both automated system and manual confirmation are required before landing the booster. That's really good because not only do you have AI, let's say, deciding if it should land or not, the computer, but also there is a manual factor, whereas there is someone that's actually doing the computations and watching it to make sure that the computer is doing what it should be doing and it's not making a mistake. So having a computer and a human in a loop just simply makes sense to me. I'm glad that they're doing it. If the catch fails, the booster will splash down in the Gulf of Mexico instead. However, a successful catch could dramatically increase SpaceX's flight cadence, benefiting NASA's Artemis missions. Starship is pivotal for NASA's Artemis program, as it was selected as the human landing system for the Artemis 3 mission, which will return astronauts to the moon. Starship's success or failure will directly affect NASA's ability to stay on schedule for future missions. Even if Flight 5 succeeds, challenges still remain, including political and budgetary issues within the Artemis program. A second launch pad at Starbase is under construction, but not yet operational, which could limit SpaceX's ability to recover quickly from any launch mishaps. The outcome of Starship's Flight 5 will have significant implications for both SpaceX and NASA's goals of reaching the moon and even Mars. So to kind of sum this up as they state here is Starship Flight 5 marks a pivotal moment for SpaceX with significant risks and rewards at stake. The mission could redefine rocket recovery by attempting to catch the super heavy booster with the salad tongs. A maneuver that, if successful, would dramatically enhance SpaceX's launch cadence. Absolutely. This is crucial for SpaceX and NASA as Starship plays a key role in NASA's Artemis mission to the moon. Don't forget Mars. However, any failure, particularly in the booster catch, could delay the program and impact up and coming Artemis deadlines, though SpaceX continues to prepare for multiple contingencies. So. They are preparing. Once again, they have that pad number two that's going to be constructed or is being constructed in Texas currently. And they have another pad over here, three hours north of me at Cape Canaveral that will also be for Starship launches. So this is really good. The problem with all of this always revolves around the three letter agencies for the most part. You have the FAA that gives them problems, the FCC gives them problems, you have fish and wildlife continuously with problems, you have these environmental lobbyists, environmental agencies and groups that give them problems. So SpaceX has a lot of problems, okay? There's a lot of people that are going after them. Why that is, that's once again for another video, all right? But all in all, this looks promising. Once again, there's road closures that's going on. There is information that has been found from the US Coast Guard to keep people away from certain areas in the Gulf of Mexico during certain times. So either way, it looks like it's going to happen within the next week or so. 
This is amazing to me because I love this stuff. I cover it live, so if you want to hang out with me and watch IFT5 launch, do so. I will be live during the entire thing. I usually go live about a half an hour before launch, and then we usually stay about a half an hour to an hour after the launch and just hang out and have a chit chat of what we saw. So anyways, I hope you found this video helpful maybe even a little bit entertaining. If you did, throw it a thumbs up. That's very helpful for me. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools and my merch and my books and my shirts and my tees and everything else. Check it out. See if there's something there that tickles your fancy. If there is, pick it up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.